so I'm going to say it again because then I was over there bugging out again. He said, God is bulimic and lets all creation know what he can't stomach. God is bulimic and lets all creation know what he can't stomach. Oh my God, I'm going to Twitter that video. <laughs> And the soft little sweet cuddly evil cute crazed fucking penguin thing is addicted to the lunacy of it all. I love poetry, I swear to God. Is an actor, a singer, and performance poet who is the curator and host of the Inspire Words sister series, the Jujo Mukti Tea Lounge, from 6 to 8 on Sundays. He participated in the inaugural performance at the Yippie Museum Cafe with John Sinclair and Mulligan's Underground Word Rock Fest and the first Inspired Word Night of Stars. Put your hands together for none other than David Lord. Feelings. Grasshopper green monkey bar feelings. Oh. Feelings that don't belong in respectable society. That are not 51 year old white male feelings. <laughs> feelings that make me vibrate inside in the dead of night. That wish to break me open to hatch an escape that want to dance around like a happy pinhead, <laughs> that wonder how many happy pinheads can dance on the head of one pin. Mm -hmm. Feelings that cause people to give me curious looks, that piss people off for reasons they can't put their finger on, that would not be considered fiscally prudent, that don't leave room for more practical Things. I'm so full of feelings that have awesome mutant powers that allow me to storm the battlements that require me to prepare my acceptance speech. Never able to shit all the bullshit. Feelings that there aren't enough hours in the day for. Feelings that scat and declaim and na na hey hey too. Feelings brought to you in living color sugar bubble pop and bong water resin sticky icky laying back. I'm so full of feelings that won't let me off the hook that sing the music of my Irish ancestors with a Boston accent that somehow wandered their Bowery way downtown that now are part of the continuum. I'm so full of feelings that produce copious amounts of water from my eyes that have been abandoned and betrayed by the one who had my faith. Feelings hopeless junkies and homeless poets have saved that lay my head against the bark and let the spirits be praised. I'm so full of feelings that have no answers for the big questions, that long to turn and see the laughing face of Christ, that cry to God, why did you take that one young man and in so doing break my whole family? Feelings that have no way back from whence they came. I'm so full of feelings, feelings that love, that love the feeling of love, that wish that they could feel all of your love. So they need to find the words to explain this to you. <laughs> Issue of intimacy. Another experiment in online dating. Another neighborhood in Brooklyn. More getting to know each other conversation. More red wine needs a chance I might get in. <laughs> she asked me back to her place. 
that's progress for me on a first date. Uh, there was tequila and ganja for dessert. Uh, then she laid herself out on a plate. But when I looked up from my efforts, I found a sight that was strangely funny. My hooded sweatshirt was twisted all around her head like the wrappings of an Egyptian mummy. She removed her head, and that erased me, and left behind only her naked ass and pussy. An open invitation for sexual assault. No engagement, no commitment, no involvement, no one's fault. But that lovely ivory body, lying so cold and still, was enough to make a satyr pause and cause his fiery loins to chill. It looked to be the work of the master, Monsieur Auguste Rodin. And I don't jack off in museums unless the exhibit puts its hand down my pants. when you caught me admiring your calm reserve. So I did what I've been told I'm supposed to do as a breathing, red-blooded American man, trying my damnedest to make it all seem so offhand. 
I never dreamed I would puncture your rice paper heart. Mm. You were scared enough to gasp for breath. I could hear the gentle tremble in your voice. With a fear much greater than myself, we both were staring at the ground. You said you couldn't answer me right now. As it was scary for you to conceive amity, it is scary for me to so need someone in a world of tigers vomiting the skins of their kill and rabid curs convulsed by their whimpering. But it can go away. Wandering together in a little circle of turf, ring around the rose breath catching a cloud of a cooling mist just downwind of the fountain of youth. And there were tiny jewels enlaced in your hair, so delicate they would dissolve with the release of a breath. And sometimes, when the sun shines brightly enough, we become visible to each other. You thought about it for two weeks. It was your specialness that made me do this thing. I sensed that you were a good person instinctively. Many people are rightly considered nice, but not nearly enough are good. Tell me, why is it, if we soar heavenward, that we seem doomed later on to come crashing down when the words that we share draw us ever more close and we feel someone could join us at our solitaire? Because it can go away. Wondering about the meaning of ellipses, about what it is that's left hanging there, whether unsaid is understood or unbearable or there is nothing to it at all, a dead end softened by three periods. But how the word lovely is so, well, lovely that it might be enough to keep me going on. I only wanted to ask you to the movies with me, but now know I will love you forever and anon. You didn't judge me, didn't feel sorry for me, you didn't manipulate me, didn't feel some phony kinship with me, because despite of all the simplicity that is lost now, even for you, you thought about it. 